in this lecture i will share what will be the effect of external electric field when applied on some dielectric medium first of question is what is the meaning of a dielectric medium as we know in case of a good conductor material current flows when external electric field is applied but this doesn't happen in case of dielectric material in case of dielectric material when a very strong electric field is applied it shows some electrostatic effects without the flow of any current without the flow of current now we have to see what electrostatic effects take place on the dielectric material for that purpose let me consider a slab made of some dielectric medium now everything is made of molecules and inside a molecule there are some positive charges and some negative charges surrounding it it has been observed in general that in a molecule center of positive charges does not coincide with center of negative charges so a molecule behaves as if center of positive charges and center of negative charges are little bit separated from each other so this is called an electric dipole so each molecule in a material behaves as an electric dipole now in general when no electric field is applied on dielectric material these molecules behaving as electric dipoles are randomly oriented inside the slab some molecules are oriented horizontally some molecules are oriented vertically and some to other angles in this way we have electric dipoles or the molecules oriented inside the slab randomly whole this slab is full of such molecules as a result net positive charge and net negative charge cancel each other and net charge in the slab is zero now what will happen to this slab when a strong electric field is applied to this dielectric slab suppose i apply external electric field with the help of these two sheets let me take this sheet a and this sheet as b suppose sheet a is externally positively charged and sheet b is negatively charged then electric field lines will be directed from positive sheet towards negative sheet let me call this external field as e naught vector so this field acts on the molecules inside the dielectric slab what will happen each of the, these molecules will be reoriented due to this positive plate and negative this negative pole of molecule will be attracted towards positive and positive pole will be attracted towards negative plate each molecule will be reoriented let me show these molecules in a different way each molecule in the slab will be reoriented in such a way that its negative pole gets oriented towards positive plate and positive towards negative plate this will happen to each and every molecule let me show this by putting minus and plus in these represented molecules because these are nothing but electric dipoles in this orientation it is clear that these negative and positive charges this positive and this negative they will cancel each other this positive and this negative will also cancel each other and this negative will remain uncancelled this positive will remain uncancelled 
so i can draw a line here that on left hand side of this line we are left with only negative charges similarly on the right hand side of this line we are left with only positive side so this surface let me call this surface a this as surface b this as surface cd so surface ab will be negatively charged surface cd will be positively charged and in the interior of slab net charge will be zero so this process of creation of positive charges and negative charges on two surfaces of the dielectric slab is called polarization of slab means slab gets polarized polarized polarization of dielectric slab and these positive and negative charges are equal in magnitude but their magnitude is very much less than the magnitude of plates which produce external electric field e not vector now this positive surface cd and negative surface e, ab will create another electric field inside the slab and in direction of this electric field be in opposite direction to external electric field and this electric field is named as ep vector that is electric field due to polarization of dielectric slab so this is the effect of strong external electric field on dielectric slab now it is clear that the dielectric slab is under the influence of two electric fields one is external strong electric field e not vector that is directed from left side to right and second electric field is ep vector that is due to polarization of the slab and its direction is opposite to the external electric field question is what will be net electric field inside this slab let me denote this by e vector as it is clear that e not is greater than ep due to polarization so net electric field will be just equal to e not minus ep this is regarding magnitude of resultant electric field inside the dielectric slab now there is another quantity i want to share that is called dielectric constant every dielectric material has a property known as its dielectric constant it is denoted by capital letter k and it is equal to the ratio of external electric field to the value of net electric field that is e as it is the ratio of two electric fields so this k has no units it is dimensioned as constant dielectric constant one more point i would like to share what is meant by dielectric strength what is the meaning of dielectric strength it is the maximum value of external electric field that can be applied to a dielectric material without its breakdown that's all